hey hi what's up uh, in this quick tutorial i'm going to show you how you can add the dots color in your slider right you see those dots circles uh, and natively we don't provide this uh, feature but you can add colors by adding a simple style sheet right or css it's just a four line of code but it will help you add your brand colors to your sliders in backflow right so as you can see in my screen right uh, I have this simple slider added uh, and just gave it a name and did nothing, right? Nothing is done here. You don't need to do anything. You just need to add a slider there on your Webflow page. And once you added the slider here, right? Go to your custom code of the particular project, right? So I'm here in my custom code of my particular uh, project. As you can see, I'm here right now uh, in my custom code area of the project, right? Where you can see this added code, right? A style, uh, it says W slider dot. Initially, I want uh, non-active sliders of black color and to active slider, I want to make it a red one, right? So this is what I need to do. Here, you can put your own color, let's say a very light color, which shows it's inactive and the bright or accent color to show it's active, right? So for active ones, I'm adding a red one. So this is what you need to add in your custom code area of your webflow project and that's how you can add a uh, slider dot colors in your webflow project a custom colors of your choice right okay so now let me show you how it looks like uh, as you can see here in this one when i'm making this see if the red one shows or uh, the active one right and these are the non-actives but i just kept it black so it doesn't matter here uh, it's just a part of tutorial right so this is how you can do it in your project also right so if you have any questions uh, regarding this slider or the style sheet or you want to how to make a custom code right in your webflow project just ping me or just reach out to me i have uh, ready to help you guys right so this was a very quick tip for you guys and i hope you enjoy this tutorial and give it a thumbs up right Bye.